and don't fuck it up. Hey guys, and welcome to my RuPaul's Drag Race Season 5 Mid-Season Review. This video came as a request, and it's definitely something I needed to do considering the vast differences between my opinions now and then. Overall, I've really been enjoying it, and it's been a very solid season of talent and entertainment. So first of all, I want to talk about the eliminated contestants, the ones who are no longer with us. I absolutely agree, for the most part, with who we have left. All the ones who have sashayed away so far for some reason or another have definitely deserved to. But I will say that Penetration definitely should have made it farther. I don't know if she should still be around, but first to go should definitely not have been her. So my favorite episodes so far this season have been the lip syncing episode, where they lip sync to some of the most unforgettable moments of Untucked. I thought it was an amazing idea and it had some hilarious fucking results. And it was nice to have a reminder that lip syncing to the spoken word is a very relevant talent. I also really enjoyed the ballet episode. That was very creative and we haven't seen anything like that from Drag Race so far. And finally, I was crazy over the roast of RuPaul. Ru is such an amazing candidate for a roast that I can't believe it actually hadn't been done yet. But sadly, with highs come lows and we've definitely had our fair share of disappointments this season. Like the Snatch Game, for instance. What the fuck was that? Despite about two good performances, it was a train wreck that was venturing into uncomfortable to watch territory. And the editing. This trend in the really terrible editing started back in season four and it picked up even more in All Stars, but now it's gotten ridiculous. The editors are cutting pieces from here and here and here and here and putting together conversations that aren't even really going on. And they're cutting loads of the challenges out. There was even one week where the entire runway lasted like 15 seconds. So yeah, if I had my way, those editors would be fired. So moving on to the people we have left. Alaska. You know, I'm really happy with Alaska. She's done pretty great in most of the challenges, especially in the roast and the kids show. But I do think she needs to show some versatility. The silhouette has been same, 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 same. Alyssa Edwards. Let this serve as my public apology to Alyssa. Back in my cast review, I read that bitch to filth. And I have grown to love Alyssa. She's very polished, she's unintentionally funny, and she's very consistently good. However, I do think she needs to be a little bit more open-minded and take herself and her look out of the pageant state of mind. Coco Montrese. Overall, Coco is not as good as I expected. I predicted her to be the winner of season five, and she's definitely not winning any awards this season. And to be honest, she's probably going to be the next to go home. And you know, when it comes to their history, I'm neither team Alyssa nor team Coco because I think in some ways both are right and both are wrong. But I definitely will say that Coco is the one who instigates it and brings it up the most. And I think if she wants to stay around in this competition any longer, she's going to need to stop making excuses. She's always like, well, you know, I'm not a singer or I'm not a comedian. We don't want to hear that. Just do the best you can do. Detox. I love Detox. Really, she's never done bad. And even when she was in the bottom two, she was not the worst. And I'm proud of her for her jellyfish. She had an idea and she executed it. We all know she has a great body. We don't have to be reminded every time she steps onto the runway. I also really love her vulgarness because if you've ever seen anything else from me, you know that I'm pretty vulgar myself. I'm glad she didn't compromise any of that and she's staying true to herself. I do think she needs to show some vulnerability though. She's so polished and focused and precise that you kind of forget she's a real human being. And with all that plastic in her, that's something that we definitely don't need to forget. Ivy Winters! I absolutely adore Ivy. I think she is so beyond talented and I'm just like proud of her. I think based on looks, she's in the top two. But unfortunately, I fear that she's going home soon. Because like between all the big personalities, she has a tendency of letting the others outshine her in the challenges. But if she can overcome that and stop letting people take the spotlight from her, I think she's definitely in this for the long run. Jinx Monsoon. Jinx is everything to me. She is one of the best contestants this show has ever had. And she is a classic case of personality over looks. She has more talent in her fucking pinky finger than some of the most polished queens that have ever been on this show have. Technically, she has done the best out of the season. Not only has she never been in the bottom three, but she's almost always in the top three. And my fingers are crossed for her to make it all the way to the end. 
And finally, Roxy Andrews. I am buying everything Roxy Andrews is selling. She's got amazing runways, a beautiful body, and a really, really fun personality. I don't really have a critique for Roxy. I think lately she's kind of been lacking some confidence, but the only thing I would say to her is keep doing exactly what you're doing, and this is hers to lose. So as of now, my favorites for Drag Race Season 5 are Jinx Monsoon and Roxy Andrews. And let's have it said officially, I predict the winner of Season 5 will be Roxy. So thanks for watching my review. Please subscribe, and remember you can catch me every Sunday over here on Altered Illusions. And I'm going to end this video with my favorite looks from the runway so far.